Hey everybody. It is week eight. Um, that's crazy. I can't believe it's been almost two months. About two months, I guess, since I started um, these weekly updates. Um, and the yard is the yard. The, um, the garden has gone banana pants again. Week five, that was just a drill. This is like serious banana pants going on. I'm so excited. I'm so excited to see little baby versions of food. <laughs> it's really cute. Um, so let's get over here. All right, Plumeria pudica is really filled out. And uh, I need some flowers, so I need this thing to bloom. I wanna see those blooms. Uh, Nepeta is getting a Chelsea Chomp probably this weekend, and I'll be rooting those cuttings. Graham Thomas had a bloom that looks like it just fell off yesterday, but there's a really long cane right there, and I don't know if I should bend it down so that shoots can come up this way, or if I take that long stalk and start bending it over the arch that way, so decisions coleus getting massive and look at all that lantana look at all that ham and eggs so pretty and can i tell you these tomatoes oh my god they were just little bitty scrap seedlings that i thought i might throw away this is uh dr witchy's the yellow so tall now and flowers and then the cherokee purple also flowers and so big there's four of those and two of those, I think. Anyway. And then this little patty pan, this little white patty pan squash. Look at there. There's a little female flower starting. See that? That's a little baby patty pan. Cuteness. This one's doing well, too. Looks like a flower just finished off that one. Salvia doing great. These zinnias that I transplanted from my other garden bed look so stunning. I love that color. This was definitely um, a mix with the hybrid, the hybrid, a mix with the uh, Violet Queen that I had over there. Really pretty. Uh, eggplant, still haven't moved that one. It's getting swallowed up. This eggplant is getting swallowed by Zinnia. Oh, and it looks like we're gonna get some flowers. Oh, down in there, some eggplant blooms gonna start habaneros are getting really big those are probably nine inches tall already um, and it looks like we may get some flowers I see some little little things in there that look like flowers and then the jalapenos are doing good and I have some I have some in there that need to be picked So it is not a very quiet Sunday morning because, oh my gosh, people are already using power tools. It's like 7.30 in the morning. Anyway, Jasmine looking great over there. Um, my Yarrow Achillea looks like it might try to send up a bloom. Lemon Balm doing great. My Texas Hummingbird Mint and my Lemon Balm and my Common Time. I mean, they're still there, but don't look like they're thriving very well. We'll see how that goes. Now the oregano is doing great. Um, the chamomile actually looks like it's doing good. And then over here, I'm not sure if this little ferny stuff is chamomile. It looks like it might be. Uh, my holy basil is doing great. Okra is doing great. Okra is getting very big, very nice. Uh, California Wonder, I don't see any flowers yet on that one. Sweet Alyssa, just taken over, so pretty. And then the Cosmos, look at that. Look at that Cosmos. Even the orange, the orange. You know, these orange, uh, Cosmic Orange Cosmos, they really look like um, marigolds. They remind me a lot of marigolds, very strange. And then the Fizzy Rose Picati. This uh, bloom here looks a lot better. Fizzy Rose Picati, looking more like the package. Then peppers here, let's see. This is a carnival blend and it looks like we have a pepper. Couple of peppers, there's carnival blend. 
My Alessia peppers are getting big. Actually, they look the same as last week. They haven't gotten that much bigger, but that's okay. But I have a lot more of them. We have a lot of Alessias. And then I have Cubanelle, pretty good size Cubanelle. I'm not sure if that's ready or not. I've never grown Cubanelles before. Hmm, there's a few more little ones. That might be close to their full size. I'll have to look at that before I pick it. But yeah, Alessias and Cubanelles, uh, Giants of California. These zinnias look gorgeous. Very nice, very pretty. And oh my goodness, we are having an explosion of banana peppers. I don't know if you can see in here, besides these two freaky looking bugs mating. Look at all these uh, banana peppers. Look at all that. That is very cool. So many banana peppers. Some there. It looks like I have one over there that's ready. So the Borlato bush beans have really calmed down. I think, I think there's one there. I am definitely, after uh, filming today, gonna be planting more seeds. <clears throat> Where's my snippers? But yeah, I just, I need more, um, I need more bean plants so that I can pick more beans. There we go. All right, so. These are my rattlesnake pole beans. Still lots of flowers. And I had flowers last week, but I still don't see any beans. So we'll see. We'll see what goes on with that. Um, asparagus, not a whole lot to see there. Uh, these garlic chives have really bounced back. I guess uh, something woke them up because they are growing, which is good. And then my little Patterson Panache Frenchy French is getting so big. Gosh, that thing's big. I don't see any babies yet, but I'm watching it closely. And look at my French dwarf marigold mix. That looks really pretty. All the all the seeds germinated, like for real, all of them. Uh, my nasturtium back there doing fine. Looking pretty good. This one looking good. Lots of blooms still, so that's good. And then this squash, I've already had to cut it back again. Uh, yesterday, I think, I came out here and I had to cut more leaves off because it had filled back out and covered, you know, all the flowers over again. So, and look at all the pollinators. It is hopping over here today, which is good. Some little bee. Anyway, I have a, uh, looks like a baby squash there. Hopefully that got pollinated. And then I have a zucchini. Let's see, there's a baby baby zucchini there. Um, there's a stink bug. That's not good. Um, I'm trying to see. Oh, there. There is a good looking zucchini right there. So anyway, the pollinators have found the flowers. The flowers are open. So let's uh, hope some good work is happening in there today. Um, still very much in love with that giant cactus zinnia there. If I can get my foot in the bed. Look how pretty that is. Love that. And then this Achillea here, looks like we're going to get a flower. This is going to be a white Achillea. Just the, the regular white yarrow. Beets are doing great. Very nice. Tomatoes. Um, and then these bunch onions, I just kind of gloss over these because these are done. They've been done for a while. Um, Brad's Atomic Grape looking good. I think I have some in the back that might be ready to harvest soon. Um, looking good, looking good with these tomatoes. And look at this amaranth. Now that I know what it is, I see it everywhere. So that's amaranth. These were my mystery red seedlings. All that amaranth in there. Pretty cool. Tomatoes, tomatoes, tomatoes. Yeah, this front row just isn't as prolific as the back row, but it's all right. And then of course these miniature, Lily put miniatures. Still my faves, love them. Also love this red giant mustard and the sweet alyssum. 
I mean, I would plant that in a flower border. Just that combination is really pretty. So pretty. Look at that. Yeah, one of my faves. Um, oh, also I wanted to show you, um, I have a Brandywine tomato, really excited. Oh, looks like I have another Brandywine coming in right there. Um, this might be a brandy wine as well. Excited. Yeah, these ones are getting big. These ones still have stink bugs on them. I keep seeing the stink bugs around this particular, this particular bag. <laughs> I don't know why they like that one. Anyway, oh, and the basil that I direct seeded uh, a couple of weeks ago. That basil's coming in nice right next to that amaranth there. This is, uh, the packet just said Italian sweet basil. There's more amaranth in there. So that's doing good. Lots of tomatoes, lots of tomatoes. Oh, and I'm gonna go ahead and pick those there. They don't look good. I just want to get them off the plant. Yep. So that is obviously not good. That is rotten. But I don't want to invite more pests over here by having fruit rotting on the plant. So just best to get that off of there. So tomatoes, tomatoes. What is that vintage wine? Very pretty. And my super sweet 100 going gangbusters. I did eat some the other day. I had a truss that was ready. These are getting there. Let's see, oh yeah, that one's getting there. So yeah, these are looking good. Black crim, got quite a few large specimens here. And oh my goodness, look at my cardinal basil. Look how big those are now. I mean, that's, that's they're so big. They were just tiny little, little things a couple weeks ago. There we go. So yeah, got lots of basil going on. Lots of basil. The newly seeded stuff, I'm not sure if it's the cardinal because it has a little bit of red in it. I think I did um, plant some uh, cardinal along with the sweet Italian, so we'll see. And then, look at these zinnias. Now, in this little zinnia patch here is the queen lime and the polar bear. And I thought I had planted the polar bear at the back and the queen lime in the front, but I have one open and that really looks like queen lime more than polar bear. I mean, I see a lot of uh, limey looking green in there. So we'll see when these ones in the front open. Look at all that frass. That is bug poop. Who, oh, I see, I see you little worm. See him? See that worm right there? Hold on. There's the little pooper. All right, I brought out my uh, Captain Jack's dead bug. I did buy some the other day, so we will be treating um, for bud worms and for whatever that is eating my, well, I'm sure it's a bud worm. It's just a worm eating my flowers. Uh, the beans, I will be planting more garden beans today. I have so many beans that I need to pick. So I'll be doing that. Whew. All right, it is very hard to try to hold the camera and film while I pick beans, but I did pick quite a bit of beans. <laughs> oh, there we go. We got some snacks. Uh, this Roselle hibiscus is doing pretty good. It's getting taller. Um, no flowers on this one yet. My tansy is doing great. Reminds me of a fern. It's very ferny. Very ferny. Um, yeah, this strawberry bed. All I'm doing right now is growing mushrooms. <laughs> Look at all those mushrooms. So today I have my uh, packets of seed. I brought out some seed. So we're gonna be we're gonna be doing something about this today, later. And look what I have. That is a muncher cucumber. Yay! Got a cucumber. So excited. Look at those cucamelons back there. These cucamelons are awake. They're so happy to be here. I love it. Um. So this is my other Fizzy Rose Picketty Cosmos. It's okay. Still not my fave, but it's okay. And then I think I have more Queen Lime Zinnia here. And then these little teddy bear, 
Hold on. These little teddy bear sunflowers. Look at that. Itty bitty little things. But they're going to open. So that's pretty cool. And then more of that cosmic orange. Cosmos. That looks so much like marigolds. I just... How is that a cosmos and not a marigold? I don't even know. Onions looking good, looking the same. This is definitely balsam impatience. Why they would put balsam impatience seeds in a packet that says cut flower mix, I have no idea. Because I would never choose this as a cut flower. Um, but whatever. And there was also a lot of uh, salvia in there. This is some... Uh, that um, salvia farinacea, like a blue better type. I see a lot of little salvia seedlings in here. Um, Albumosus sagifolus is just not loving its life. It's just stunted. I may dig those up and put them in some sun. That may happen today too. Um, this cardinal vine or cypress vine and um, moonflower are doing all right. I think it's just too shady in that corner for like everything. It's too shady. Uh, that moonflower is doing a lot better. Very nice. And then of course this is gonna get seeded with stuff today. Just a lot of wasted space. I have a lot of, I mean it's my first year. I did not wanna get overwhelmed, but that's a lot of wasted space. Uh, my potato plant looking a little diseased, a little stressed, but I wasn't expecting it. So I'll just take it as it is, it's fine. Brussels sprouts doing great getting tall looking lush. I just don't know when the little sprouts are supposed to Aren't they supposed to form like in the crotch? I don't know. I've never grown this before. I mean it looks healthy. It looks good. I just don't know what to expect <laughs> Kale's looking good lantana uh, Cat mint. I probably won't chop this back just yet because it just got going My coleus look how big my coleus is getting. I grew that from seed. I'm so proud of it. So proud. And Pandora vine is looking wonderful. This passion vine I think has finally rooted. Um, this stalk turned a little mauvey shade of lavender and it's um, a lot more rigid and firm. And then my butterfly pea, my blue butterfly pea looking good. And holy moly, this birdhouse gourd. Um, I discovered late this week when I came out here that this sucker's been flowering without letting me know. These flower at night because they are um, pollinated by moths. But this, this girl's been flowering, didn't even tell me. So yeah, how fun is that? And when we get to the other side, I'll show you. We have some little baby. Oh, here. I'll show you right here. Let me get in the bed. See that there? That's going to be a female flower. See that kind of hour, hourglass shape, bottle shape? That's going to be a birdhouse gourd if it gets fertilized. So that's fun. And then this is doing great. Starting to plant this shrub. And then look at that. It completely like refoliated. So if you break off any part of your nasturtium, stick it in the ground, it'll grow. All right, let's see what's going on the outside. All right, so this Richmond green apple cucumber is going bananas. I haven't seen any cucumbers yet. I'm thinking that could be one, possibly. From the picture, it looked like a very square cucumber, like not an elongated one, but more of like a little, like an apple. Maybe that's why it's called Richmond Green Apple. Oh, I'm a ding dong. Anyway, um, looking good, looking good. That's all Richmond Green Apple right there. And then uh, that jasmine smells so amazeballs. And can we? talk about that sunflower wow it's like it's way up there now yeah that's crazy yeah it's way up there yeah that's a big one that's a big one so, and then these other ones are a little smaller. I mean, they're all the same right here in this corner, but that big one just really took off. Roselle hibiscus doing great. I have some more uh, calyx there that I can pick. So when they're red like that, 
Um, that's when you can pick them and dry them for tea and whatnot. At least that's what I understand. Um, but I just wish it wasn't shaded out by that sunflower. That makes me sad. That's okay. And then all of these sunflowers looking lovely. Look at that. And guess what? We have some open. Look how pretty. How pretty is that? That is gorgeous. And these sunflowers, they get multiple heads. Let me find a good example. Okay, this one. See that head? And then it's gonna have another head, and another head, and another head, and it'll probably make more heads. It's just really pretty. And some of them are getting so tall. Like those are taller than me for sure. Um, the flat white boar. But there's another little potential baby pumpkin. I haven't seen any pumpkins that have gotten fertilized yet. I just see the little immature embryos. And then my um, table queen acorn is swallowed up back there. Like, I don't know if it's gonna get to do anything. Oh, I see a little baby though. I see a female. Look at that. That's a little female. Table queen acorn squash and flat white boar, big old white pumpkin is taking over the world. Look at that. Uh, so pretty, so pretty and lush. And the pollinators have been all over here this morning. Yeah. Oh yeah, See, they are getting in there, doing the good work. Very good. And there's another sunflower. So this one is the Chianti hybrid that got mixed with another uh, sunflower whenever I saved the seeds. So that has a little bit of yellow on the petals. Very pretty. So yeah, that's the sunflower patch. <laughs> sunflower forest, it's getting huge. Flat white boar's getting huge, I need to tie that up. Um, that grape we just won't talk about. The beans look so pretty from this side. Look at those bean flowers. They're just so pretty. Very pretty. Yeah, and they have um, exceeded the top by quite a bit. Sunflowers getting big. Wasp looking scary. Look at this watermelon. It has just taken off, just really taken off. This is the Black Mountain, Blacktail Mountain. Blacktail Mountain Watermelon. So that one's really grown. This one is starting to wake up. This one's grown quite a bit, and then that one there. And then those two little seedlings over there, those are stunted, those aren't gonna do anything. They're not gonna do anything. And another fun surprise, look at my Waltham Butternut. Look at this. See that butternut squash, how cute is that? that so cute we got two little butternuts I'm thinking of planting some more seeds today because I feel like I have some room I probably don't but I feel like I have some room so I'll probably do some more anyway squash from the other side the pollinators are really hitting this really hitting this today so I'm glad I took some of those leaves out that's awesome all right now I was going to I think these Brad's Atomic Grapes are ready. See, they have a little bit of an orange hue to them and they feel soft to the touch, like a little, little soft. So I'm picking them and hopefully they taste, hopefully they taste good. Here we go. Hold on. Oh, I was zoomed in so close. There's some right there. Oh, okay. And I see some here. Oh yeah, this one of them has a little split. Really split. Ooh, too much water. We have had so much rain, people. So much rain. See these. Uh, I don't think those are ready yet. Okay, so. This one has a little bit of color on it. These are so tight in the bag, I don't even know if I could get the bag off. That does feel soft. Let's see if I can get the bag off. 
It's the only thing about these bags. I do have some larger bags in my Amazon cart, <laughs> so I probably need to go ahead and get those on order because these tomatoes, yeah, that feels soft. Gosh, that's a big one. It's heavy. And I'm going to leave that one another day. Let's see here. Yeah. Yeah, I think that one's that one's fine. All right. The grapes are doing great, I guess. My first time growing them. But they look good. They're plump. Yellow pear. I've been eating uh, several yellow pear. These cherry tomatoes ripen a lot faster than anything else. But lots of tomatoes coming. So out of breath. Oh my God. That one. Beautiful. And look at this lychee. These lychee tomatoes have just shot up. They're probably approaching three feet. Three and a half feet. And the flowers are so pretty. And they are so thorny. Look at all those thorns. Uh, I haven't seen any fruit yet. But uh, definitely a very interesting plant to grow. Hold on, let me go back. <laughs> I forgot to show you the Seminole pumpkin. That seed's only been in the ground two weeks. And let me tell you, where is it? Right here. Look at this. Look at that Seminole pumpkin. It's been in the ground two weeks. Yeah, that's huge. And I think that's another one. Seminole pumpkin. The other two Seminole pumpkins here and here. That grape's doing fine. And then look at this small Persian cantaloupe. It's getting big. I don't see any babies on here yet, but I'm sure it's coming. And I like that it's climbing the trellis nicely because when I do have melons on it, I kind of just want to make little melon hammocks for them and have them hang on the cattle panel there. So these are doing really well. Uh, this is the muncher. There's the, the cucumber in there from the other side. Looking good. And then my kooka melons. I have to keep tying these up. They don't readily want to grab the pole on their own and that is annoying me a little bit. They just want to sprawl along the ground. But anyway, kooka melons have really picked up speed. And then this is, what is this one? Is this the miniature white? I think this is the miniature white. And something, something is eating my uh, sunflower. Hmm. Oh, and I see a little miniature white baby. Look at that. How cute is that? Cutest thing. Let's look here. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. Miniature white cucumber. So spiny, it's very spiny. Anyway, cute. All right, and then Richmond green apple here. Don't see any babies. So yeah, all right. So I'm seriously thinking about taking out the Russian sage. It is not thriving. It, well, I was going to say it hasn't bloomed at all, but there we go. <laughs> it's a little bloom. Look at that Russian sage. I just don't feel like it's happy in this bed, though. I feel like I need to move it. Artichoke's doing great. Um, Golden-edged Duranta looking beautiful. Still have to deadhead the mum. The mum is growing and expanding. And look, it's putting out like seedlings. These are like seedlings, I think. It's just spreading or maybe it's spreading underground could be I did cut back st. Patrick waiting for another bloom um, all of these are getting sprayed with some captain Jack's dead bug brew because of the budworms so that's gonna be happening um, deadheading the roses are looking great and I have a lot more uh, blooms coming the roses are really happy here but so are the budworms budworms are just loving their life in this bed so anyway 
things are looking good. There's my grabby grabber to grab stuff. This ro <laughs> rose, this grape may never get planted anywhere. Poor thing. I need to get that in the ground. I just don't know where. Um, I know they don't do so well in the shade, but it may have to go where that blue chair is, maybe. I mean, it gets sun, just not like, you know, those two trees are kind of in the way, but it needs to get out of this bucket. So I will work on that. Um, I'm so excited about my harvest. Look how pretty is that? There we go. But I do need to plant more things, so when I come out here, I can harvest more things. <laughs> so anyway, week eight. Looking amaze balls. Things are banana pants. I'm so excited. It's just so pretty. Yay. Thanks for watching. Bye.